Here is how you add a photo widget on iPhone. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So first, we want to open up the Photos app. Then, we're going to scroll down and we'll keep on scrolling until we see Albums and we'll tap on the Albums option. We then want to tap the plus or the create to create a new album. We'll tap on new album to confirm our choice. We will now name the album something that we can remember. So I will do widget two and then we see the plus. We'll tap on the plus to add a photo to the album. So I will use this picture and then I'll select the add and then I'll select done and now we should have that album saved. Once that's done we'll exit out of the albums menu and we'll head to our home screen. We now want to look for empty space on our home screen. We're going to long press on that empty space until the app start to jiggle. We will then select the edit or add icon. We will then choose add widget. We are now going to look for the photo widget. So I scroll down until the photos shows up and I'll select this one. Then we're going to swipe across and keep on swiping until it says album. Choose the size of the album widget and then select add widget to add it. Right now we saw no photos available and it automatically brought me to the album option. So under album we'll tap on choose and if it glitches out we'll tap on the widget again, we'll tap on choose again and now we can see all albums we will see our album and we'll select it. We will then head out of this menu and it will show your picture. Now one useful thing to know, if you want to change the picture in the future, you create a new album using the previous steps and then you long press on the widget, you select the edit widget option and then you can change the album again. And the last thing if you want to change the size of the widget, you can long press on that widget and then you can change between these three sizes. And so you can just change that size without deleting the widget and then creating a new one. 